I am shocked and appalled. The autopsy showed, this is interesting, the autopsy showed that he was unalive for at least two hours before he was found. What? Two hours. Okay. All right. Let me, let me say something here. How on God's earth are you laying there for two hours? Okay. Remember, I work in a jail, not a prison, but I work in a jail and I already know like when you are on that kind of watch that he was and so high profile, he was in protective custody. Of course he was, but you know, and yes, anything can happen, but how are you that high profile on cameras unalive for two hours before anybody notices? Come on, how stupid do you think I am or that the American people are? So at that point, they're supposed to leave the body and call the medical examiner's offices so so they can come take photographs, do the initial testing, whatever they do when they find a body. But that wasn't done. Wow. Mama. Well, why not? Epstein then details a peculiar circumstances found in the autopsy report, which doesn't align with a typical vertical unaliving. Y'all can see the words. I can't say it. You know? Um, Well, after the autopsy and the both pathologists, the city, listen to this, the city pathologist, Dr. Baden, came out of the autopsy and said, this doesn't look like a self unaliving. It looks more like a perpetrated red rum. Okay. Specifically, he highlights the broken neck bones more consistent with that kind of passing away or a physical attack rather than a vertical red rum. Uh, Mark also points out the absence of expected physical signs on the body. If it had been hanging for an extended period, further casting doubt on the self unaliving narrative. Okay. You can see, sorry, if these should have had a trigger warning here, I'm sorry. The autopsy photographs show that the, I don't know if I can say ligature, Mark, I guess I I just did. (laughs) on Jeff's neck is in the middle of his neck and goes straight back as if someone put a rope around his neck and like Carlo in the Godfather in the car. Remember he puts the, like the cord pulls. That's what they're saying. Dr. Baden is saying that's what it looked like. Not like a, okay. (sighs) These details, combined with the lack of transparency, imagine that, from authorities, fuel his belief that his brother was red-rummed. You, what, you didn't know that in 2019? <laughs> Come on. Uh, probably did, but couldn't prove it. Tucker clarified the bones in his neck that were broken are not seen. Not seen. Not rarely seen. The wording is... It's not like they're rarely seen in this type of passing away. They are not seen. Did y'all get that? Not. But are seen in a different kind. Epstein confirmed and responded, that's a scary thought that you can be passed away in prison by the government. Because again, my life would have been a lot easier if he did unalive himself. Well, of course it would have been. Um, And the fact that it can be done by the government, oh, that's shocking, right? I guess I'm really shocked that they're actually putting this part out there, though, because you know it's been hush hush since 2019. You can't get any information. Except, you know, royal BS about, oh, the cameras went out. Oh, it was just one of those things. Gosh, what terrible timing. 
whatever. I could have put it behind me. This is his brother talking. But it's obvious at this point in time that it was not a self, you know. And so that means somebody unalived him. Who did that and why? Well, who? <laughs> you seen the flight logs? It could be any one of those people. Anyone. Whether we ever figure out exactly what happened, I don't know. But yeah, I don't want people to think that he unalived himself because that is not the case. Well, we know that. We know that. But now we've seen, you know, Dr. Baden actually say that. So what happened? Uh, let's keep reading. So why did they not take what Dr. Baden said and, and run with that? Um, well, there is a reason. For example, the medical examiner, the city pathologist, and another doctor who performed the autopsy did not rule it a an aliving of self. Because, of course, it didn't look like that. The death certificate says, cause of death, pending investigation. The unaliving ruling was made by the chief pathologist, Barbara Sampson, who was not present at the autopsy. Well, okay, so the self-unaliving ruling was made by the chief pathologist who wasn't even there. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. So the death certificate says it's pending investigation. Clearly, Dr. Baden had his doubts and said, this is not what this looks like. Oh, but the chief path pathologist who wasn't there is like, oh, yeah, this is what it was. You know, can you can you smell the green stuff? Can you smell the money here or the influence or whatever? That's my opinion. It is allegedly. At the point the determination was made, all further investigation was halted. Barbara Sampson won't talk to Mark Epstein or Tucker. Sampson's, well, imagine that. Uh, Sampson's ruling overruled that of the actual pathologist who performed the autopsy. She justified this by saying there had been a previous attempt. However, there was no attempt prior to his demise. <laughs>